This is the Counter Diary. Counter Diary, we are telling you the untold stories of Liberia. My name is Emmanuel Kotu. On today's edition of the program, we are somewhere in the Kolahon uh, district of Lufa County. And to be precise, I'm right here in Bolahon. And Bolahon is known to be one of the historic towns in Liberia, in that uh, it has one of the older churches in the country, uh, established by the Episcopal Church in 1922. So, uh, upon the arrival of the uh, Anglican Church in Liberia, uh, they moved from one place to the other. Like I showed you the other time, we're in Padaman. From Padaman, they had to come all the way down this way to establish the Bula Home Mission. So we'll be going to the mission. But behind me, this is the church that they used to uh, worship in. And this structure had been here from uh, 1926. From 1926, this structure has been here. And um, a lot of people have passed through talking about going to school here and it's also considered to be one of the home times of our former uh, Liberia vice president the late Harry Mulva if, uh, even though he was not originally from this town but he lived here all of his time uh, so they have a monument in his honor in his time as well so I'll be taking you to uh, beside the church we'll go to the church to show you exactly how the church looked like and then we'll go to the current structure where they worship in and then we'll go to the Bula home uh, mission school to show you how it looks out. This is Counter Diary. We are telling you the untold stories of Liberia. If you are coming for the first time on my YouTube channel, please make sure you hit that subscription button to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more videos on Liberia. Keep watching. Let me take you through. So, uh, just walking through, uh, just a minute to walk uh, while we're walking. Uh, just show you how it looks like currently. And um, we just come closer a bit. So we just walk you through. So when you are entering this place, one thing you notice is that the wooden structure, and I think this is different from all the other, uh, you know, wood around here. Because I don't know how to date it, but it's still very strong. To some extent, you can still refurbish the area and make it a historical site for us Liberian to be able to see exactly what it is like. But I mean, go inside again and show you a little bit about this place here. So that I hope that my colleague um, uh, who is streaming me today that you can see the structure. I'm afraid because uh, this wood are no longer strong from uh, 1926. Church was established in uh, 1922 and the structures and the other things have been here since 1926. It's just an old place. But let me take you around. So let's look in here. This is how currently it looks. Keep watching. This is Counter Diary. We'll take you to different places in <laughs> I 
Okay, folks, so you're still watching the Council Diary. Like I showed you, the holy structure of the Episcopal Church in Bolahon established 1922. Uh, this time around, I'm in front of the new structure that you currently worship in here in Bolahon. Uh, Bolahon. And um, I'm going around this place to show you exactly how I love. So behind this building is also where you have the uh, Bolahon Episcopal Mission here. So I'm going to be showing you from there. I'll go up there to show you where you have the monument of the late Arif Moliva, uh, of, uh, who was the vice president of Liberia from uh, 1984 up to 1990. He was the 26th uh, vice president of the Republic of Liberia under uh, the late Samuel Kayando. So we just walk into the, we just show you a value like this, you know, fetching water. I wish I could see somebody to talk to to give me more history about this area. But it seems to be like everybody very busy uh, this morning in this part of uh, Liberia. So you see up there, uh, that is the uh, Bolaho mission. We saw that, I don't know why the sunlight from the camera can make you see clearly. So this is it. I'll just go in front of the church and then tell you how it looks like. So from this point, you will see the Bolaho mission, uh, one of the oldest uh, churches in Liberia established by the Anglican Church, or better say, called the Episcopal Church in Liberia. So you can see from this side of the building how it looks like. And up there, you have uh, the, the school. So keep watching as I give you more updates. This is the Counter Diary. We're telling you the untold story. <laughs> Okay, guys, so um, I'm coming in front of the Bolahon Mission here in Bolahon Town, Lofa County, and uh, established by the Episcopal Church, like I said. And um, this is one of the, you know, historical areas that you come here. When in terms of um, reading and writing in Liberia, uh, talking about literacy, this is one of the areas it's really started from. So I'm um, here, yeah, I'm trying to speak to the principal, uh, you know, one of the school authority to tell me exactly some historical facts about this area. So keep watching as we go closer to talk to the principal or the head of the institution here. So what's your name, sir? I'm John Hina Wule. So they say you were once a principal of the Episcopal Mission? Yes, I served here after the war. I came here in 27, 2007. Okay. Yes, I took over. I served up to 2017. Well, after the war, it was not easy, but we were able to get teachers, we were able to get materials and so forth through the uh, help of BAFA, Bolahon Alumni Friends and Family Association. They were the ones taking over. So they were just appointed to come and head the school. And I uh, also learned that uh, you, you were once a student of the school. Yes. Tell us about when you went, when you entered the school. Oh, uh, this was around 1957. Hmm. I graduated from here in 1970. Then I went to Cottington. So tell us about 1957, how the school was looking like. Well, the school was all right. You know, we had a missionary, we had teachers. You know, some teachers were from Salyon. You know, for many were Liberians, and these people were really committed, you see, and they did their possible best to teach, you see. So uh, at that time, how you used to call yourself in the school? What, like, the way some people can call yourself, you know, uh, what is the nickname for the school? Oh, we didn't have nicknames. Like, we had 
three branches that time. Mm. We had St. Agnes. St. Agnes was really built for the girls. That time they had a convent here mm. and they wanted the girls to be there. You see, so they built St. Agnes for the, for the girls. But later they started accepting the boys too. Then we had St. Philip and later St. Simpson. Then the senior high was St. Augustine. You see. So when 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 it got combined? Oh, I think this was because I was not here again. I left, but I think this was combined after the war. So you, you, when you were here, when you were in the school at the time, um, which one? Which one? You were in the Saint Philip. I I was in Saint Agnes. Mm. Then for the boarding, mm. I lived in Saint Philip. Then later they changed it to. Saint, uh, 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 Saint Simpson, okay. which was the junior high yeah. section yes. from yes. seven to nine. Then the senior high section was from ten to twelve. Yes. So you can remember some of those uh, great guys that came from Bolanwara. You know, you went to school here. Yeah. Who graduated from here? Yeah. yeah. Yes. Oh, uh, <clears throat> one of the first priests we had who uh, got his education here was Father Kova. Paul Kova. Then the first graduates mm -hmm. from Bulawayo here, you know, from high school, were the sons of Parakova and the former, I think, representative Henry Sa. So that was in, that was in what year? Uh, huh? What year did the first graduate? But I think this was 1951 when Parakova and uh, Henry Sa graduated from Bulawayo. 1951, from the senior high. Then the female that graduated, first female, mm. was my Agnes Sa. She was in four years, but then she had died now. And this was 1953, you see. So those days, uh, our people did not accept Western education. Um, those of you who came, how were you um, um, uh, 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 allowed into the school? How the admission process was like for you? Uh, many, I don't think, or oh, it was only when they came first, mm. you know, they were hesitant to send their children to school, you see. But later they accepted that it was something good, you see. Uh, so they, they accepted what we were sent. So, you so see. Who, who are those serving as instructors during your time uh, oh, in the school? I, I had several. <laughs> oh, were they Liberians or foreigners? Well, we had Liberians, you know. Then later we had Peace Corps. You know, we had many of the Peace Corps coming in that time, you see, in the 60s, you see. So I know those days you guys were, I saw a basketball court there. Uh, what, 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 kind of, what kind of sport you guys were involved oh, in? Oh, yeah, during our time now, yes. We had football, we had basketball, even table tennis, you see. Table tennis, we used to play here and so forth. Yes, so, can you compare your days to a present day? Because I understand those even when you in sixth grade, it, it, I mean that you've come a long way. Yeah. Um, you see, it might be self uh, commendation, you know, praising ourselves, you know, that's what usually people do. But comparatively, our days were far better. You see, because the education, you know, you have to learn seriously. You see, writing, composition, you know, doing. And one of the things during my time, they introduced mathematics, we used to call NTB mathematics. Mm -hmm. It was prepared in Uganda, you see. So as a result, we were very advanced and like most of the schools that were around here, you see, so we did well. So it was very good, you know, the students were brilliant, they were serious with their lessons, and whenever they went out, you know, people really praised them, you see, like going to Cottington, you know, the place was almost open to students from Bolahun. So, so what, what do you think is the problem of uh, the current 
There are a lot of problems. One I will really look at is books. Because during our days, the missionaries used to provide books. You know, if you are taking like five subjects and so forth, they provided books for the five subjects and each of the students used to get a book, you know, for that subject. So that's one reason. Two materials, like in the area of science, mm. you see, we have the science lab, which was very, very advanced. You see, we did experiments, you see, we carry on experiments and so forth. But this time we do not have such. Okay, the library, that's why we have a good library now. You see, we have also a very good library. But I don't see students using the library. You see, you don't see the students using the library. And another thing too, teachers' commitment. You see, sometimes teachers are encouraged to really teach. You know, they are really or determined to teach. But sometimes if they're not paid, you see, or the salary is too low, you know, it might discourage them, you see. They might not really put in all the energy that they support or efforts and so forth. So, uh, uh, Mr. Wally, I want to take you by a little bit. When mm -hmm. you were in the school here in Bolaun, mm -hmm. how many schools at the time you had in Lofa County? Uh, I cannot recall now, but some of the schools, they had schools in Poya, like Cheryl Public School, uh, we have Pula uh, uh, Public School, Buenjama, we have Buenjama Public School, and there was Zozo. ATI was another Lutheran school too, you mm -hmm. know. You see, those schools were existing here. So if you had to grade them during your time, uh, amongst those schools you just named, mm -hmm. uh, uh, which one uh, you could refer to as the best? Which one are you so what? Grading the schools that you just named during your time. Uh, uh, Our them, school was what? number one, you know, at that time, you see. In fact, uh, sometimes when students came here, you know, if you are not mindful, Hello. you would yeah. be a grade and perhaps the yeah. first period, if you did not perform well, mm -hmm. well okay, you were we'll demoted. You see, to come here, yeah? was very high on the <laughs> academic level. Then one oh. of the schools too that we used to uh, consider was ATI, mm -hmm. the oh, Lutheran okay. School. Okay. You know? So thank you so much, sir. Before I take leave of you, yeah. uh, there's one thing I want to know. Um, the wooden structure up there, yeah. there's a church. Mm -hmm. uh, and then uh, there are people who were yeah. saying that this place needs to be preserved for historical purpose, for tourism. For people to come from other parts of the world to see, because that is the corner of uh, literacy in Liberia in terms of uh, local country reading and writing, Western education. Mm -hmm. What's your own take about that? I support it very much. I support it very much. One time, the people provided so planks mm -hmm. to have the place refurbished. But what happened to the planks, I do not know. So it was very important that that building be made. Or uh, if you go to the campus, mm -hmm. just before uh, the office, the teacher's office, the, you will see a clean area. They used to have another wooden building there. That was the one for the 10th grade. It also used to serve as a dining room, you know, for students and so forth, or cafeteria, you may want to go, you see. So it would be very important, you see, one of the things that we miss a whole lot, the way you people have come, we should have taken you to the church. We used to have banners, you know, given the historical events in Bolaam. You see, the first priest, the first group that came here in 1922, you see, or who were the graduates, just as I was telling you, you see. But those banners, we don't know where they went, you see. So that's it. So some of the great people you were talking about from mm -hmm. here, mm -hmm. you had like Dr. Harry Moniba, mm -hmm. who became vice president. Mm -hmm. uh, we had Dr. Bigby, who was once uh, head of 
Wayek office for West Africa. And also, I think he headed the University of Liberia. Dr. Yekesin was another great man from here. You see, he also was president of Dr. Topa. Oh, I think Senator. Henry Tupa? Yeah, Henry Tupa. For Bonkandi? Yes, he graduated from here. You see, Henry Tupa graduated from here. You see, you have to meet you. So, lastly, from my end, if you were to make recommendations, because you spoke about the current uh, structure of our education, mm -hmm. if you were to make recommendations to the government, what could be your own recommendations? Well, I would say first, if government can help this mission, you know, to support the government to help and first of being the teachers. So this will give us the opportunity to get the good teachers who will be well paid. Two, we want this place, the structures, when you go there, they are all dilapidated. You see, to put on the structure, you know, to build up the place. You see, that's another thing we there we want to recommend. Then uh, other better infrastructure, perhaps getting like science lab, you see, then more books. You see, books. Because even this was the students are taking, we found out only some of the teachers even have the books, some do not have. You see, that's why the curriculum is there. But if the books were available, you see, to improve the system, you see. Great, great. Really uh, thank you so much mm -hmm. for giving us insight about the Bulahun uh, mission. Mm -hmm. And uh, one thing I like when I'm doing, because this is going to be everywhere, it's going to be even on the internet for people to see. So I want, how do you spell your full name? Oh, my what? Your name, your full name. J O H N. John. Hina is H R N A. Okay. Wule is W R L L R E. So you're a graduate and a former principal of the Bolang. Yes. Thank you so much for talking to us. I graduated from here in 1970. I came back. I taught here two years, 1975, 1976. I went to Kulang where I served as teacher as well as principal. Then after the war, I came back here. 20, 27, you see. Are you originally from Lofa? Yes, my home is Lehuma. Oh, okay. Okay, I'm from Lehuma. All right, thank you so much. Okay. <laughs>